Young, fifth sack today for Washington. What's going on, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? It's your boy, Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are doing a how-to. Not really a how-to, but I want to show you guys my I-formation scheme. And when we talk about using the fullback. Also, keeping the defense off balance. Guys. Like I said in my last video, your audible should keep your defense off balance. And also in this video, we're going to show you how to follow your blocking using a fullback in the I formation. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go. Let's see. Let's go to formation. Let's go to I formation. And you see the only formation that I have in my I formation is twin tight end twin tight end okay and the play I want to run guys is zone weak and then obviously we're gonna put it on random for the defense all right zone weak zone weak learn how to follow your fullback okay we got the head count in our advantage we have one two three blockers versus one two three you never count the mic in the middle all right we're going to follow the fullback. Here we go. Check out. Right there. And I didn't hit turbo not once. Because if you hit turbo against the CPU, they're going to block shit. If you hit turbo against online, they're going to block shit quicker. You don't need to hit turbo until you get to the open field. All right? Now, let's look at the replay. Simple stuff, guys. Follow your fullback. Don't try to create your own holes. Follow your fullback. Now, if the fullback don't block correctly, then you try to branch off to your own holes, okay? Look at that. Great blocking on this play. Beautiful blocking, guys. Beautiful. Look how Bates, he's my fullback. In Madden 24, we actually got a real fullback on the team now. But right now, in Madden 23, we use our, our second tight end, Bates. Bates is the fullback right now, but look, he's great. Look at he's going to the he's going to that uh, that left linebacker right there, and he's gonna push him outside. Look at that block, and he's look. Then he branches right here. It kind of shows you how good my sliders are. You see, he now we know in Madden 24 the the, the blocking is gonna be awesome in Madden 24 with the line play when they go to the next level. But you can see I got my, my uh, sliders. They doing that already. Bates number 87. He going, matter of fact, let's bring the box up. Let's, let's look at Bates, man. Let's follow Bates, guys. Let's follow Bates. Let's, let, me, let me zoom in here. Let's follow Bates the fullback. Okay? Just follow your fullback, guys. Look at that. Boom. He gets a beautiful block right here. He's a tight end, so he's he, he's making work. And guess what he does? He says, I got another one. I got another one. And then Robinson goes right through for some more yards. Look at get Bates, man. Follow the fullback, guys. Follow the fullback in an I formation. This I formation is beautiful. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start out running this play a, a few times throughout the game, right? Okay, now we got that linebacker on the outside. But we still should be okay. It depends on how they block it, but your main goal is to follow your fullback in the I formation. Learn to use the fullback. Not bad right there. Let's look at the replay. Let's look at the replay. Okay. Now, let's look at the replay. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, we're going to follow the fullback. Boom. There's a hole. See, base is going through the hole. I'm not doing a great job of going through the hole there, but the hole's there. Or we could have cut that back to the right. See, I didn't even see that. I could have did a, a juke move to the right and went right through this hole. Went right through this hole. I didn't see that. But I'm so focused on the point of the videos to follow the fullback. But like I said in the first play, if you see it kind of banged up and you see open gaps, you can do a cutback into the lane okay but our first goal is to follow the fullback 
Let's try it one more time. Then we're going to branch off the other stuff. You see they're making adjustments here. Now they got one, two, now that Mike is on the inside of the box. He's not on the line. So now we got three blockers versus four. So that's why it's red, okay? And uh, so when that fullback goes through, we only get, we got the two linemen. The son of you can't count, okay? All right, here we go. We got a little hole there. We got a little hole there. Let's look at the replay real quick. Ready? Ready? All right, let's look at the, let's let's actually examine this real quick. Let's examine this. How who went where? Okay, we got a double team block right there on the lineman. Base is going through the hole. Now that that corner or the safety that's up right there on the left side. This guy right here. Why he go to the outside? I don't know. See, base was looking for him to go out, go after him. They did branch off number 68. The right, I mean the left guard, number 68, double teams. He branches off, goes to the next level. Hits up my man right there, but he didn't get a, a clean block right there. So, but Robinson did get some yards on that play. Now, let's go to the next level of my um, scheme. Okay, now, what I like to do also, guys, you can also flip it. You can flip it to the right. Okay? I'm keeping the defense off balance. He's been seeing me go left the whole time. He may start cheating to the left. You can go right up the middle. Or he may decide to run, run commit. Or, guess what? We can do this play. Right? We can do this play. We can go to the outside, but he's stacked on the outside over there. But look at that linebacker on the left there. He might look, look like he's going to come in. So my first goal is to fake the handoff and go back to the left. I'm trying to keep the defense off balance in this I formation. See, if I start using my I formation, I got a lot of options. Let's try it. And you can't wait too long, guys. You can't wait too long because what I learned, you want to... You want to make the fake look really good, like you're really going to run this thing. Let's break it down. But there's one warning you want to be careful of when you when you do a good fake. All right? See, I want to wait latest possible before I fake that run to Robinson. Now, the reason why I pull it up early, because if you do it too late, it's going to be your lineman going to be in an el ineligible down fear. It's going to call the flag every time. Now, I haven't really run this play in, in Madden 24, okay? Now, it may be the same thing. An eligible, you know, receiver downfield, which is your lineman, okay? So, you, if you wait too late to sell that stretch. See, I did a little bit too early. I think I could have sell it a little bit more right here before I pull up. But it was wide open. Why not pull up early? But I'm saying, guys, you got to sell that fake, especially online against these users. You got to sell that stretch. And they're going to use it right out there and try to stop that stretch. And then you pull up, boom. Okay? I'm keeping the defense off balance. Remember that, guys. Remember that. When I go to an audible, it's to keep the defense off balance because I'm showing them this, right? He's been watching this play right here. Okay? Now we got guys back in the box. If it's clear, run it. Now my line didn't block as well. But again, it's, we know it's going to be better blocking in, uh, 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 in Madden 24. Now, let's look at the replay real quick. Some of this stuff might be boring to you guys, but I'm trying to show you, man. This is how you get good in Madden. Without all the stress. Now see the defense is kind of looking for that play. Block shed. Boom. He gets through. My center did a horrible job. He bumped him, but he didn't do anything. He, and the guy blows up the play. d tackle blows up the play. Okay? Now, you may say, okay, he's starting to figure it out. Guess what? We see the play again. But now we can, we can switch it to the right, right? Okay? Now, we also can do this. When you start seeing guys coming up in the box... When they start coming up in the box, look at that. Look at my quarterback uh, 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 play art. He's gonna fake. He's gonna fake that stretch to the right, and then he's gonna throw to the tight end. Oh, 
So that's even worse. When you start switching like this to the other sides. Let's go back to the other side. Let's go back to the other side. Okay, you see my number 85, my tight end? Now watch this. We audible. We're going, we going to him. It's called post shot. All right? Because he's been watching and running the whole time. If he starts putting people in the box, so you may anticipate him um, doing a, a, a run, run commit. We, we can go to the circle, okay? Because he's been watching you in the eye formation, run in the middle, run left, run right, run the stretch, right? Fake the stretch and throw the uh, inside post route, okay? Like this play right here. He's been watching you run that play, okay? He may try to press, but we know in Madden 24, when they try to press, you can hit him over the top when they press, right? <laughs> Guys, this is how you keep defenses off balance. This is how you keep defensive guessing. Now, let's go back to the play I wanted to run. This play right here. This post shot. Okay? We're going to turn it. Circle. Let's try it. <clears throat> but you got to remember, guys, these I, I rate, basically set up my I formation scheme because I'm going to be playing online. And the user is easier to fool than the CPU. Okay? You got to develop different schemes for the CPU, okay? But I'm talking about users, online ranked, head to head, right? They got most people gonna be playing that mic position. But see, I got them thinking I could go this way. I got them thinking I could go this way. I got them thinking I can, I can uh, uh, go do, do this way. I got them thinking I can do a toss play, right? We can do the toss play. The game's messing up right now. We can do the toss play. Go. Now, but one thing I forgot to look at. Let's let's go back to the toss play. Right here. Now we got a pulling guard. No, we don't. We have a full back, and we have our yeah. We have a pulling guard. The right guard right there. See. The right guard and my full back is going to get out in front. Okay, and we know in Madden 24, guys, they're going to do some great block targeting. Targeting, You just read your blocks and go where you need to go. Okay, but well, we got our right guard right there, and we got our fullback blocking. Follow, 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 follow. Best you can, all right? This is my eye formation scheme, guys. You will see me running this online, right? I'm keeping them off balance. Again, I can run here. I can run through the middle. I can run here, right? I can run this play right here, right? I can, well, this is the real play. It, I don't know why it shows to the left. I can run this play, right? I can pick the, 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 the stretch and throw it back to McMillan, right? Or I can run this play. My audibles are set up to keep the defense off balance. He doesn't know where I'm coming from. And I'm going to change my play based on how he plays me. All right, guys, it's that simple. You develop your audibles to keep your player off, your, your competition off balance. Not because it's a good play, not because it's a meta play. Learn your playbook, right? This is my this is my I formation scheme here. I'm showing you guys. This is what I'm gonna be running in Mad 24. Now a lot of y'all might be playing me online, but don't be don't don't be surprised if I change it up. I don't keep the same playbook all year. I come up with new schemes. I come up with new stuff. Okay? So you don't say, okay, I, I see Hollywood play online, man. When I play Hollywood, I know exactly how he's going to play. Don't depend on that. Don't depend on that. I'm going to have a playbook probably 20, 20, 20 to 25 plays, okay? And I may have another Apple formation, like Apple formation close. I may put put something out of there, okay? It won't be just Apple formation uh, 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 twin tight end. It may be Apple formation close. I may go to a different type of Apple formation, all right? I may have an eye formation with two receivers on the outside. I'm going to switch it up, guys. Okay? Well, let's run the play. Follow the fullback. We cut back inside. Boom. Follow the fullback. Okay? That's the purpose of an eye formation. Follow your blocker. Okay? Let's do this one. 
We see the lineman, the edge rusher, look like he's about to come in. He's leaning forward. That's the key, guys. When they lean forward, they either blitz them or they, they coming, baby. They coming. They coming. They coming. Same thing. Right? You can flip this baby. You can go left, right. You can just drive them crazy. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching. And that hopefully you'll be back for my next video.